Yo, what is good, YouTube? DNGR back at it again with another YouTube video, and today, coming back with another episode of the now weekly series, Team of the Week Guide. So, let's first start it off with some gold players. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna not include any 75 overalls or under because I don't feel like they're relevant at all at this point. So I'm gonna be, so in the future, I'm only gonna be including, you know, good options for 76 overall plus and over. And the first person we have got to talk about for today, week number six is going to be Robbie Anderson. 77 overall wide receivers, 84 speed and yeah, you guys can read 80 Excel, so you know, same idea as most good wide receivers. They're fast and they can catch. If you guys do pull him, he is usable. He's definitely he's definitely not the best gold wide receiver, but he's not the worst either. And next up we got 79 overall Kyler Murray. First overall draft choice by the Arizona Cardinals. 80 speed, 80 throw power, and all of his throw accuracy accuracy stats are over. Seven. The reason why I like Kyler Murray is once again he is a really fast quarterback. So he's you know he's he's in the 80 speed. You know he's got like that base gold Lamar Jackson speed, but he's got a lot better throwing stats than that Lamar Jackson. So he's just a really good card if you guys want a good scrambling quarterback, but that can also you know pass the ball every now and then. If you guys don't already have an elite quarterback such as like Deshaun Watson or you know, Dak Prescott of that sort, so Kyler Murray decent budget option. And now we are moving into the elites because that is all that I can find for the cool players. And we're gonna have to talk about 81 overall middle linebacker Devin Bush, his second team of the week card. 82 speed. You guys can read the rest of his stats. All of his stats are pretty well rounded. They're pretty much all over uh, all over 70. So any middle linebacker over 80 speed is absolutely burners. Extremely good budget middle linebacker if you guys are not too worried about the man and zone but even then he's got decent man and zone as well so Devin Bush I think he's definitely a very very good worthwhile pickup if you guys don't already have 85 overalls as your minimum then why not go ahead and pick up your Devin Bush all right the second base elite that I wanted to showcase this week is going to be James Bradbury 83 overall cornerback 83 speed 81 man and 75 zone um, you know, his speed stat is very similar to the 80 overall cornerbacks. You know, they had 84 overall speed. That was like Orlando Scandrick and that Johnson guy. I forgot his first name. But for base, for base elite, 83 overall, 83 speed is extremely very, extremely viable. And he's got a little bit better man and zone stats than the 80 overall team of the week cornerbacks. So. James Bradbury, very nice card there. And now we are gonna move on to the um the Masters. All right, so to start off the Masters, I just really wanna say that the master selection this week is really, really bad. So if you guys are looking for a week to skip, so this is definitely gonna be the week because Stefan Diggs is gonna be the best option here and he is definitely not a very good player, so. This is this master selection this week is absolutely terrible. I suggest you guys get none of these none of these masters, but if you guys do, then here's my analysis on all three of them. Stefan Diggs, 84 speed, 86 XL, 87 catch, which is really, really high. But once again, guys, the speed is gonna be the killer here. 84 speed for an 85 overall plus wide receiver at this point. It's not good enough to start, especially for a master, because you, you know you have your previous 86 overall Tyreek Hills, your your will follow the fifth, which has got like way higher speed than 84. So just doesn't isn't up to par, but he is a decent uh, player if you guys are looking for more possession type of a wide receiver. Next up, we got Matt Ryan, 87 all cornerback, quarterback, 65 speed, and you guys can read here, 80, you know, 83 throw power, throw accuracy short is really good with 89. All of his throwing stats are over 83, which are pretty pretty good. But once again, guys, 65 speed not very not very ideal for a quarterback there's a lot of good fast quarterbacks that have really good uh throw accuracies like that lamar jackson like deshaun watson i don't i really don't know why you guys would be getting a matt ryan especially when he's got like literally 20 speed lower and his throwing stats are just marginal marginally higher than previous team in the week master quarterbacks so matt ryan definitely passed there and then we have 87 overall Gerald McCoy, run stopper. Uh, you guys can read his stats there. 76 
finesse moves, 81 power moves. Yo, how does an 87 overall defensive tackle have 81 power move and 76 finesse move? That is like base elite, maybe 79 overall gold stats. Not, and we are talking about 87 overall master. This card definitely way under status for his overall. Definitely not worth picking up. Definitely should probably be like 82, 83 overall, maybe like 80 overall or something, considering that his, you know, his move stats are that low. So, all right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys later with another most of your video tomorrow. So, hey, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Mad Mobile content and everything else. You know, leave a like on the video if it helped you out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.